네, 오늘 본문의 말씀을 통해서 우리 나의 속 사람과 영적 섬이시란 제목으로 함께 은혜 나누도록 하겠습니다. So based on the scripture today, we want to share a message regarding the inner being and the spiritual summit. 어, 바울의 기도죠. 어, so this is the prayer of Paul. 어, 나의 속 사람의 성령의 능력으로 강건해짐을 기도하는 겁니다. It says, "I pray that out of His glorious riches, He may strengthen you with power through His Spirit in your inner being." 한 시대에 많은 돈을 가진 사람은 큰 일을 한다고 그래요. And so they say that a lot of things, uh, you know, people who are able to do these kinds of things are able to do big things as well. 그 국가도 돈의 흐름을 움직이는 나라가 강대국입니다. And so the, the strongest nation of the world is usually dictated by how much money they can move through the economy. 지금은 달러로 세계의 모든 통화를 결정하지만 중국에서는 언젠가는 중국 돈 위안화로 세계를 움직일 것이다 이렇게 지금 뭐 전쟁을 하고 있는 줄 압니다. And so I I know it to be the case that there are a lot of people who are saying right now even though a lot of the currencies around the world are dictated by the movement of the U.S. dollar, uh, it's going to shift towards the movement of the Chinese yuan. 어, 권력이 있는 사람도 큰 일을 한다 그래요. And they say that people who have power and are, have authority are able to do lots of things. 그래서 well. 사람들은 어떻게 해서든지 성공하려고 하고 좋은 높은 자리에 올라가려고 그래요. And that's the reason why so many people strive so much and put in so much effort to try to become successful and to gain some kind of power. 참 안타깝게도 교회 안에서도 이 권력 싸움을 해요. And in, um, it's unfortunately the case that even in the church there are fights over power. 그거를 교권이라고 그래요. 교단 uh, 교권 이런 말을 해요. And then the word that we use is is this fight over power. 어, 그런데 여러분 아, 알아야 됩니다. 정말로 진짜 큰 일을 하는 사람이 있습니다. Uh, but you, those are not the case. There's there's something that causes people to do an even greater work. 자기의 내면의 세계에 영적인 힘을 체험하고 사는 사람. Those are the people who really experience a great strength in their inner being. 그 16절에 우리의 속 사람을 성령의 능력으로 강건하게 하옵시며 이렇게 기도를 하고 있어요. And so it says in verse 16 in the scriptures today that he may strengthen you with the power through his spirit in your inner being. 그이 본문에 보면 우리의 내면의 세계를 뭐라고 했냐? 속 사람이라는 단어를 썼어요. And so if you look at this in the, in the scripture it uses the word inner being. 이속 사람이 다른 힘, 강한 힘을 누리고 살때 우리는 그것을 영적인 서밋이라고 합니다. And when our inner beings are enjoying a different kind of strength, a spiritual strength, that's what we call the spiritual summit. 예, 창세기 1장 27절에 보면 하나님이 인간을 지으실 때에 하나님의 형상대로 지으셨다 그랬어요. And if you look in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, it says that when God created man, he created man in his own image. 여러분, 우리가 하나님의 형상대로 지음받았다는 것이 무슨 말입니까? So what does it mean to say that we are created in his image? 인간의 내면 속에 하나님과 교통할 수 있는 영성을 만드셨다는 거예요. God created in us in our inner being a spirituality through which we can communicate with God. 그 영성을 가지고 하나님과 교통하는 존재로 인간은 만들어졌다는 거예요. And it's with that spirituality that mankind was created to uh, to have fellowship and walk with God. 그래서 저와 여러분의 내면이 하나님의 하나님과 깊이 이런 소통을 하는 이런 비밀이 없으면 정말로 인간답게 살기가 어려운 거예요. And that's why without this true uh, this blessing of being able to communicate and commune with God together with our through our inner being, it's impossible to really be a, a, a real human being. 전도서 3장 11절에 그걸 뭐라고 그랬냐? 인간이 가지고 있는 어, 영원을 향한 본능이라고 그랬어요. And so if you look at this in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11, it says it calls this a spiritual instinct that we have. 하나님이 우리에게 영원을 향한 영원을 사모하는 마음을 주셨다 그랬어요. And so God gave in us a soul, a spirit that yearns after him. 그 다른 말로 말하면 그게 하나님을 사모하는 마음을 주셨다는 거예요. And so he gave us a heart that really just yearns after the Lord. 그러니까 내 영혼이 하나님으로 채워지지 않으면 다른 것으로는 아무리 해도 그게 안 채워지는 거예요. And so the case is, if our souls are not filled with God, if 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 we try to do it with anything else, it, we we cannot be strengthened by anything else. 그러니까 행복하지 않죠. And that's why we're not happy in that case. 돈, 명예, 사람의 사랑, 인정 다 갖고 있는데 하나님으로 채워지지 않은 그 상태는 정말로 행복하지 않아요. So they can have all the money and the power and all the relationships with other people around the world that that, that anyone could ever desire, but without having a relationship with God in their inner being, they can never be happy. 그게 인간이에요. That's what human beings are. 여러분 이거를 가장 잘 활용하고 
이걸로 세상을 이끌어가는 단체들이 뉴 에이지, 프리메이슨 각종의 이런 종교 단체들인 거예요. So when we talk about the new age ideology and Freemasonry and a lot of these different organizations, it's talking about a, a, a core tenet of what they do is talking about strengthening the inner being. 이 사람들이요, 이 단체들이 각자 나름대로의 영성 훈련을 하거든요. And so the, a lot of these organizations, they, they do the, their own spirituality training. 뭔가 그들의 내면 속에 있는 영적인 것을 끌어내겠다는 거예요. And they're saying uh, from within us, we're pulling out whatever spirituality there is. 그래서 나름대로 뭐 기운동을 하고 명상운동을 하고 어떤 종교 의식을 통한 그런 깊은 체험을 하게 하는 거예요. And that's why there's a lot of things that people do these days, whether it's a key movement or some kind of deep meditation or different things like that. 언제가 제가 TV 프로그램에서 절에서 하는 템플 스테이라고 하는 이런 프로그램을 제가 본 적이 있어요. And so one time while I was watching TV, I was I saw that there was a program about a temple stay. 너무 마음의 상처를 가진 사람들이 인생에 큰 절망과 스트레스 막 이런 사람들이 모여갖고 템플 스테이를 하는데. And so while, while the program showed this, this image of uh, a lot of people who are caught with a lot of scars and hurt and, and different problems in their lives, and they go and stay at this temple together, and, and they bring out these kinds of inner being things. 여러분, 그런 것들을 통해서 뭔가 영적인 세계와 교통하게 만드는 거예요. And so it's through those things that people uh, try to have some kind of walk and commune, communing and fellowship with this, the spiritual realm. 그러면서 뭔가 자기의 내면 속에 다른 힘, 우리는 그를 초능력이다 또는 뭐 깊은 내면의 힘이다 이런 표현을 쓰는데 뭔가 그 다른 힘을 갖게 하려 하는 겁니다. And, and so it's through those things that people seek out deep inner strength, whether it's some kind of supernatural strength or just any kind of deeper power. 여러분 그걸로 모든 것을 극복하게 하는 거예요. And then they try to go and, and do things with that kind of strength. 같은 세상에 살면서 다른 차원의 세상을 보게 만드는 겁니다. And so it's saying though we live in the same world, we're trying to look at the world from a different light. 실제로 이런 이런 것들을 체험하는 사람들이 뭔가 창조적이고 뭔가 혁신적인 일을 한다는 거거든요. And they say that a lot of people who experience these kinds of things have some kind of sense of innovation and creativity to them that that's beyond what other people can do. 그래서 여러분요, 늘막 창조, 혁신, 이 innovation, creation 뭐 이런 것들을 부르짖는 아시죠? 그런 회사들. And so they're 계속 깊이 명상하게 하고 길을 체험하게 하고 그래 만든다니까. And if you look at a lot of the modern firms today and, and companies today, we see that a lot of their focus is on uh, bringing out the, the best of our creativity and, and innovation. 그러니까 여러분 스티브 잡스 같은 사람 대표적인 사람이잖아요. And so Steve Jobs is, is a very representative man of the, those kinds of things. 지금도 산호세 중심의 그쪽으로 이, 이 실리콘 밸리 쪽으로 가면 거의 전부 회사에서 일하다가도 다시 명상으로 들어가게 하고 막 이런 쪽으로 계속 가르치는 거예요. And so they teach in a lot of these large firms in Silicon Valley while you're doing your work. Go and uh, separate out a separate amount of time so that you can have some deep meditation. 자, 문제는요. 그들이 체험하는 힘이 어떤 힘이냐 하는 거거든요. But now the issue is the kind of strength that they experience. What kind of strength really is that? 둘 중에 하나거든요. It's, it's one of two things. 하나님의 영으로 주시는 힘이든지 아니면 귀신의 힘이 든둘 중에 하나. Strength like that is either a strength that really comes from the spirit of God or it's a spirit it's a, it's a strength that comes from demons. 그래서 여러분이요. 그런 것들이 계속 되면서 조용히 세상 속에 영적인 문제가 깔리는 거예요. And as those things continue slowly and quietly but also surely spiritual problems persist in the world. 자, 더큰 문제가 있어요. But there's also a bigger problem. 하나님의 사람들이 이들만큼도 내면에 힘이 없고 영성이 없다는 거예요. It's saying that the people of God themselves do not have this kind of spiritual inner strength. 어떤 일이 벌어지겠습니까? If that's the case, then what would happen? 심각해지는 겁니다. It's going to get serious. 구원받은 하나님 백성들이 이렇게 영성 운동을 추구하는 그들만큼도 내면에 힘이 없다. If the saved people of God don't have this kind of spiritual strength that comes from the salvation, and they don't even have any kind of strength like that. 첫째요. Then first. 정말로 세상 살기가 어려울 겁니다. It's going to be very difficult to live in the world. 여러분 살아남기 위해서 몸부림을 쳐야 되는 세상이요. We're living in a world where even today we have to struggle just to make it. 여러분 끝없는 스트레스가 계속되는 세상 속에서. And we're living in a world that's just so full of stress. 여러분이 조금 대학을 갔다 좀 좋은 직장에 갔다 끝없는 스트레스와 경쟁을 해야 돼요. And you think, you're, think to yourself that you got into a good college or you found a good job after college. Even in that, those kinds of situations, there's never ending stress. 여러분 아시죠? 그 스트레스가 결국은 암을 만들어내. And then it's ultimately those kinds of factors of stress that form things like cancer. 여러분 지난주 말씀드렸잖아요. 아들이 한달 전에 죽었는데 
그 죽은 아들의 충격을 받아갖고 엄마가 말을 못해 입을 열지 못하는 실어증에 걸렸어. And so we talked about this last week uh, as well, but there was there was an individual, a mother whose son had had passed away early, about a month earlier. And because of that, 스물아홉 살의 아들의 나, 아들이 그냥 주차장에서 그냥 죽은 채로 발견된 거예요. So her 29 year old son had passed away, just suddenly died in the middle of a parking lot. 엄청난 스트레스일 거예요. There was a tremendous amount of stress that came to the mother. 이 말을 못 하는 이 실어증에 걸린 거야. And she was so full of shock, she was just completely shocked that she wasn't even even able to speak with her mouth. 한달 만에 폐암이 와서 지난주에 죽은 거예요. Within within one month she she caught lung uh, lung cancer and then she passed away just last week. 그래 의사한테 물었대요. And so they asked this of the doctor. 아니 어떻게 이렇게 갑자기 죽을 수가 있냐? They asked her how is it that someone can die so suddenly? 암이라는 게 이렇게 갑자기 퍼질 수가 있는 거냐? Is cancer something that can actually happen in the body so quickly like that? 의사가 말했답니다. And the doctor said this. 치명적인 스트레스가 오면 한달 안에도 암이 확 퍼져 갖고 이런 일이 벌어질 수 있다. When there's a tremendous amount of stress that enters the body, there's even cancer can form in that short time period. 여러분 저암 정도가 아닙니다. And so it's not only talking about just cancer and things like that. 사람들이 갈수록 공격적이 돼 있어. And the more further and further we go with life, people become more aggressive and competitive. 그러니까 별것 아닌 별것 아닌 일에도 막 분노들이 쏟아져 나와요. And then so many so many times with things that don't really even matter all that much, there's just anger that flows out. 그러니까 이 분노 조절이 안 돼요. And so people are unable to even control their anger. 또 어, 심리학적으로 이제 impulse control disorder 충동 조절이 안 돼. And so even even those kinds of things in in, psycho, in psychology we call this impulse control disorder and people aren't able to control their impulses. 내면의 힘이 없으면 두 번째. And then also if you don't have inner being, strength in your inner being second. 여러분 어떤 힘이든지 다른 차원의 힘을 가진 자들에게 지배를 당하고 살 수밖에 없어요. You have no choice but to to live a life where you're being trampled upon or moved around or forced to follow those who do possess a strength. 여러분 정말로 구원받은 하나님의 사람이요. 이 내면의 내면에 하나님 주시는 힘을 얻지 못하면요. 결국은 세상 속에 포로되고 노예되고 속국되는 인생을 살 수밖에 없는 거예요. And so we even see in the Bible the people of God when they're not able to gain this spiritual inner strength they had no choice but to be taken away as captives as prisoners as slaves into other nations. 그러니까 불신자들에게 그냥 노예처럼 끌려다니고 짓밟히고 그냥 그렇게 살아야 되는 거예요. And that's why the Israelites even in the Bible they like by non-believers they were taken away and they had to live their lives as slaves. 그 다른 힘을 다른 차원의 힘을 가진 자들이 10% 1%를 차지하고 있으니까요. And, the, and those people that those, those non-believers who had a different strength were controlling that one or ten percent. 근데 세 번째 마지막으로 정말로 중요한 게 있어요. But there's also something that's very important here. 여러분이 정말로 내면의 힘을 성령으로 힘을 얻지 못하면 어떤 일이 벌어지냐? If you don't really gain spiritual strength in your inner being, then what would take place? 구원 받아 놓고도요. 자기도 모르게 내 사단에게 속고 당하고 인생을 살 수밖에 없다. Even after receiving salvation, you have no choice but to live a life where you're constantly trampled upon and deceived by Satan. 그러니까 구원 받아놓고 진짜 중요한 응답과 축복을 자꾸 놓치게 된다. And even after having received salvation, if you don't have strength in your inner being, we have no choice but to constantly lose hold of so many answers and blessings. 실컷 은혜 받아놓고 다 쏟아낸다니까요. We can receive a tremendous amount of answers, but then all of a sudden it just we lose it. 그저 농담처럼 얘기하는 거지만 여러분요 그렇지 않습니다. 강단에서 본당에서 은혜 받고 친교실에 가서 은혜 다 쏟아내요. And so we're we're saying this half-heartedly as a joke, but so many there are so many instances where in here upon the pulpit in this sanctuary there's many people who receive a tremendous amount of grace and then they lose all that grace as soon as they get into the fellowship room. 여러분요. 나중에는요. 자기도 모르게 자꾸 사단 심부름 하다가 무너져 버리는. And then some people even unbeknownst to themselves without even knowing they're carrying around carrying out the sa- uh, Satan's errands and then they just go pass away. 여러분 성경에 사울왕이 그랬잖아요. And even the same thing happened with King Saul in the Bible. 여러분 성경에 아나니아 사피라 보세요. And if you look at Ananias and Sapphira in the Bible, it's the same thing. 하나님이 택한 하나님의 사람들이잖아요. All these people were people of God. 그런데 자기도 모르게 내면의 힘이 없으니까 결국은 무너지는 거예요. But unbeknownst to themselves, they didn't even have strength in their inner being, and they ultimately crumbled. 이스라엘 최고의 왕입니다. King Saul was the greatest king of Israel. 그런데 백성들이 자기 대신 다윗, 자기 사위인데도 그 다윗을 너무 너무 좋아하니까. 저게 언젠가는 나를 배신하겠지? 이런 마음이 들었어. Though Saul was the king of all of Israel, because the people of Israel themselves they loved uh, David, who was not the king at the time. King Saul kept, uh, had no choice but to keep thinking to himself, "What if one day he betrays me?" 이건 내면의 힘이 없으니까 자꾸 의심이 생기는 거예요. Because Paul, uh, king, uh, king Saul didn't have strength in his inner being, he kept having doubts. 여러분 결국은 흑암의 
잡혀갔고요. 그렇게도 다윗을 죽이려고 하잖아. And ultimately he was taken over by the darkness and he did everything he can ultimately at the end of the day to try to kill David. 아나니아 삽비라가요. 자기 집에 재산을 팔아서 하나님 앞에 헌금을 한 사람이에요. Ananias and Sapphira were people of faith who sold everything in their household to give it to God. 그렇게 헌금을 해 놓고 한순간 여러분 자기의 내면이 컨트롤이 안돼 갖고 결국은 모든 축복을 쏟아내잖아. And then ultimately even though they made a confession and, and a resolution like that at the end of the day they weren't able to control themselves in their hearts and they lost hold of all the blessings. 정말로 오늘 본문에 바울이요 중요한 기도를 하는 거예요. And if you look in the scripture there's a very important prayer that Paul prays. 너무 너무 사랑하는 성도들을 향해서 간절히 기도하는 거예요. And so this is a sincere prayer that he's praying upon all the believers whom he loves very much. 모든 족속에게 이름을 주신 아버지께 무릎을 꿇고 기도한다 그래. And so I kneel down before God himself who derived from whom we derive all 여러분, our names. 무릎을 꿇고 기도한다는 거예요. saying that he kneels down before God. 얼마나 간절한 마음으로 기도한다는 뜻입니다. And so how sincere of a heart is he praying with? 모든 족속에게 이름을 주신 하나님이라는 게 무슨 말입니까? And so what does it mean when he's talking about the Father from whom every family in heaven and earth derives his name? 모든 세상을 창조하시고 모든 족속을 움직이시는 전능한 하나님이라는 거예요. It's talking about the Almighty God who who formed all creation and who moves all creation. 그 하나님의 영광으로 반드시 우리가 체험해 될게 있다는 거예요. And in the glory of God, there's absolutely something we must enjoy and experience. 여러분요, 그 비밀로 우리는 세상의 모든 문제를 이길 수 있는 거예요. And so it's with that mystery that we can overcome all things of the world. 세상의 종로로 타고 사는 인생이 아니라 세상을 정복하고 다스리는 자의 인생을 사는 거예요. And that's when we're able to live a life where we're not being pushed around by the world, but we're living a life where we can conquer the world with the gospel. 나도 모르게 늘 마귀한테 속고 마귀 심부름하는 인생이 아니라 성령의 심부름을 하는. And we no longer become people who are carrying around, carrying out the errands of the devil, but we're people who carry around, the, carry out the errands of the spirit. 여러분이요 작은 일을 해도 마귀 심부름 하는 게 아니라 이게 성령의 심부름 하는 일이 돼야 돼요. And even in the littlest things that we do, we have to make it so that we're not carrying out the errands of the devil, but we're really carrying out the errands of the spirit. 여러분 그 비밀을 가진 사람을 영적인 섬이시다 이렇게 표현합니다. And these people who possess this mystery are people who are standing at the spiritual. 우리 렘넌트들 영적 섬이시란 말 많이 듣죠? And so our, rem, our young remnants here, you hear this word spiritual summit a lot. 여러분 영적인 섬이시란 단어를 정말로 여러분이 이해해야 돼요. And so you have to really properly understand this word spiritual. 가장 summit. 중요한 게 뭐냐? What's the most important? 내속 사람이 성령의 능력으로 강건해지게 하옵소서. The most important thing is that your inner being is filled and strengthened by the Spirit of God. 여러분의 겉 사람도 중요하지만 여러분의 속 사람이 성령의 능력으로 강건해지게 하옵소서. Of course, the things of our outer appearance, of course, are important as well. But may your inner being be filled by the Spirit of God. 그속 사람은 내 내면의 세계를 말하는 거잖아요. And it's talking about what's inside of you. 일반적으로 내면의 세계다, 속 사람이라 말할 때는 적어도 세 가지 우리의 생각. 감정 우리의 의지를 말합니다. And so when we're talking about our inner being and and what's inside of us our inner content we're talking about at the very least our thoughts our 정서 감정 our, our emotion and our will. 예. 네. 자. 반대 여러분 잘 생각해 보세요. 사람이 내가 어떤 생각을 하느냐 굉장히 중요하거든요. And so depending on what kind of thoughts you have it's very important. 그러니까 내면에 힘 있는 사람 생각하는 기준이 달라요. And, in, and those people who have an inner strength, the, the standard of their thoughts are different as well. 성공하는 사람은 성공할 수밖에 없는 생각을 한다는 거예요. Those, they say that those people who are successful have thoughts such that they have no choice but to be successful. 반대로요, 실패하는 사람은 늘 실패할 수밖에 밖에 없는 생각을 해요. And they say on the other hand, those people who fail have no choice to, but to fail because of the thoughts that they have. 늘 기준이 자기 기준이고 육신의 기준이에요. If they're always talking about standards of their own sense. Around themselves and centered on physical things. 내 생각이고 내 주장이고 내 내가 원하는 대로. And when people are moving focused on their thoughts and their what they want and and their own standards. 그래서 뭔가를 자꾸 오해하고 피해 의식이 강해요. And those kinds of people, they always find themselves in mis misunderstandings. They always always find themselves feeling like the victim. 아까 사울왕 같은 사람이 늘 피해 의식이 강했던 사람인 거예요. And so King Saul, who we who talked about just a minute ago, he had this victim mentality. 자 그리고요 이속 사람이 약한 사람은요 감정 컨트롤이 안 돼요. And these people who are weak in their inner beings aren't able to control their emotions. 여러분 이게 속 사람은 감정과 또 연결돼 있거든요. Because your inner being is connected very much so with your emotions. 그래서 뭔가 
성격 장애가 생기고 우울증이니 조울증이 이런 게 생기는 거예요. And so when we talk about personality disorders or, or depression or different things like that forming, it's it's a result of that. 감정이 조절이 안 되는 거예요. Because you cannot control your emotions. 우울한 감정이 올 수도 있고 화나는 감정이 올 수도 있고 외로운 감정이 올 수도 있거든요. And you can have emotions of depression. You can have emotions of anger. You can have emotions of loneliness as well. 그걸 내가 어떻게 조절하느냐 그거는 And the extent to which you can really control that is the is the extent to which you have strength in your inner being. 그러니까 힘이 없는 사람은 거기에 계속 무너지게 돼 있어. And people who don't have strength in their inner being, you have no choice but to fall to those kinds of things. 또세 번째 어떤 사람은요 굉장히 생각도 많고 아이디어도 좋고 막 뭔가 막 감정적으로 enthusiastic 막 열정적이라. And so some people they they have a lot of different thoughts and they have all these new ideas and they they have a lot of enthusiasm for what they do. 근데 실제로 실천을 못 해요. But they're not able to actually apply what they want to do. 아니 아이디어 좋다니까요. And so they have great ideas. 아주 좋은 생각을 갖고 있다니까요. And they have really great thoughts. 할수 있다고 생각해요. And they think to themselves, oh, I can do this. 근데 막상 결정적인 내가 행동을 못 해요. But in the most decisive moments, they can't actually carry it out. 의지가 약하다고 하는 겁니다. They're saying it's saying the willpower is weak. 자. 나의 내면에 이런 나의 내면에 성령의 능력이 역사하여 내, 내, 나의 내면이 강해져야 된다. So in this inner being that we've been talking about, when the Holy Spirit works, that's when it becomes strong. 여러분은 언제 성령이 나의 내면 속에 역사할까요? When is it that the Holy Spirit works in our inner being? 이미 우리는 다 구원받은 하나님의 사람이에요. We, you and I are all people who receive salvation in God. 여러분이 구원받지 못했다면 정말로 그리스도 영접하고 여러분의 내면 속에 성령이 함께 해야 돼. If you have not accepted Christ into your heart, then you really have to allow Him to come into your heart and gain strength in your inner being through the Holy Spirit. 그래야 여러분 안에 계신 성령이 여러분을 도우실 거 아니요. And that's that's when the Holy Spirit comes to help you. 문제는 구원받은 자에 관한 얘기를 해야 돼요. But today we want to talk about people who have received salvation. 언제 나의 내면 속에 성령이 역사하시는가? So when is it that the Holy Spirit works in our inner being? 첫 번째 중요합니다. The first important thing. 여러분 자신의 이 내면의 세계와 자꾸 스스로 소통을 해야 돼요. We first have to be able to communicate constantly with our inner selves. 나의 내면 속에 어떤 부분에 성령의 도우심이 필요한가를 볼수 있어야 돼요. You have to be able to see in your inner self where it is that you need the Holy Spirit. 여러분 지금의 저와 여러분을 만든 것은 전부 지나온 나의 과거의 과거가 나를 만든 거예요. And who you are now is is a is a culmination of all the things and experiences that you have in your past. 그래서 지난 과거를 보면서 오늘의 나를 보는 거예요. And if you look if, if you look at your past, you're able to see your today. 과거의 상처, 과거의 나쁜 경험, 뭐 트라우마 이런 것들을 보는 거예요. And even through the the experiences of your past, the different traumatic experiences that you've had, even the scars of your heart form who you are today. 특히 어린 시절에 지나온 시간에 나도 모르게 내 안에 있는 숨은 분노, 외로움, 절망 있었거든요. And particularly things that happen when we were at a very young age, those things can cause different kinds of anger and different kinds of feelings and emotions. 여러분 그 어린 시절에는 자기 표현을 못했을 뿐이지 그게 무의식 잠재의식 속에 벌써 자리 잡은 거예요. And especially when we were younger, we may not have been able to express these kinds of things, but these things were always in our inner selves. 그래서 태영아 여러분 이 유치부 직전까지가 그래 너무 너무 중요한 거예요. And that's why our prenatal infant ministry, our kindergarten ministry, is so important. 우리 청년들이요 여러분이 정말로 결혼하기 전에 태영아 사역이 어떤 것인지를 정말 눈뜨고 여러분의 영적인 힘을 얻은 다음에 결혼을 해도 해야 여러분의 이세가 정말 다른 모습으로 살게 돼 있어요. And so especially for our young adults here before you think about getting married and having kids or anything like that you really have to take a moment to see what goes into prenatal and infant ministry and what needs to be done for these children in order for them that's that, that's when when we get married and have kids that's when it's a different level for our kids. 여러분 청년들 결혼하는 그때에 특히 그 엄마 그 사람의 영적 상태, 그 사람의 정서 상태, 여러분 그 사람의 모든 내면이 그대로 아기를 가지면 그대로 전달되는. And especially for our young adults, when you have children, especially in particular for the mother, your spiritual state and your emotional state, how strengthened you are, can really determine the outcome of your child. 적어도 85%의 내면의 세계가 만들어진다는 거예요. And so it's 85% of the inner being of even the child is made through those kinds of things. 그러니까 여러분 청년들은요 돌아다니면 놀기 바쁘지 마시고 메시지 듣고 여러분 책 읽고 내가 어떻게 나의 후 And especially for our young adults, don't make yourself so busy with going around and playing and having a good time. Of course, this is important, but really take a moment to really focus on the Word of God and look to Him. Why? Because through us, we have to raise up the next generation that's really strengthened by the Spirit of God. Isn't that right? 
여러분요 과거 내 지난 과거와 소통을 하고 직면 컨프런테이션 직면을 해야 돼요. And so we really have to confront our inner selves. We have to confront our past. 정말 지나온 시간을 한번 돌아보세요. So really take a moment to think about the things that happened in your past. 지금의 내 모습이 어디서 왔을까? Where is it and from what did your current self come from? 내 생각, 내 감정 조절, 내 의지력 이게 어디서 왔을까? And so all the different things within you, your thoughts and your emotions and all these things, where did it come from? 여러분요. 내 허물, 내 부끄러움, 나의 연약함이 정말로 깨달아지고 발견되어질 때만 정말로 그리스도 붙잡게 돼 있어요. And when we're really able to discover our inner selves, discover all these different things within ourselves, that's when we're able to hold on to Christ. 아니, 내가 죄가 없어. 나죄 없다고 생각이 드는데 예수가 왜 나한테 필요합니까? And so let's say if you think to yourself, I'm without sin and I am I'm perfect and flawless, if that's the case, then why would you ever need Jesus? 난 모든 거, everything okay야. 그런데 왜 그리스도가 필요해요? If you think to yourself, oh, everything's okay with me, then why would you ever think that you need Christ? 아, 정말로 내가 이거밖에 안 되는구나. 그래서 정말로 이 부분에 그리스도가 내게 필요하구나. And when you think to yourself, oh, this, that's why I'm lacking in this area, that's the reason why I need Christ in my life. 나에게 지나온 시간에 그런 상처가 있었구나. 그래서 내게 그리스도가 필요하구나. And because I had these kinds of scars in my past, that's the reason why I need Christ today. 알겠습니까? Do you understand? 내 지나온 과거와 소통해 봐야 돼요. And so really we have to be able to confront and have communication with our past. 나는 어떻게 성장해 왔는가? How is it that I was raised? 내 지나온 과거는 어땠는가? What is my past like? 그러면서 반드시 기도 속에서 여러분이 갖고 있는 그 부분을 하나님 앞에 쏟아 놓는 시간이 있어야 돼. And then absolutely in our moments of prayer we have to have moments where we pour everything out before the Lord. 그래서 시편 62편 8절에 뭐라 그랬냐? 백성들아 시시로 저를 의지하고 그 앞에 네 마음을 토해내라 그랬어. And so what does it say in Psalm chapter 62 verse 8? It says trust in him at all times you people pour out your hearts to him for God is your refuge. 여러분의 마음을 부어 쏟아내라는 거예요. 그분 앞에. So it's saying pour out your hearts to him. 내 지나온 시간의 상처, 아픔, 지금의 이 고통을 주님 앞에 쏟아내라는 거예요. And all the different part, uh, things that you experienced in your past, pour it out before the Lord. 왜냐? 그분은 우리의 피난처이시다. Why? Because the Lord is our refuge. 자, 여러분, 사, 내가 진짜 내 마음을 쏟아낼 수 있는 사람만 옆에 있어도 카타르시스가 되거든요. And so even if you have someone next to you whom with to whom you can pour out your heart and, and share all the things of your heart then then it's very cathartic to you. 물론 그것도 필요해요. Then of course we need those things as well. 근데 정말로 중요한 게 뭐냐? 내 마음의 그 상처들이 하나님 앞에 쏟아져내. But what is it that we really truly need? Our hearts and our scars we have to pour it out before God. 우리가요 하나님 앞에서만큼은 가장 솔직한 시간이 있어야 되는 거예요. And so we have to have a very honest time before God. 그래야 여러분의 진정한 치유와 회복이 시작이 돼요. And it's then that a sincere and truthful healing can begin. 그러면서 세 번째 그 자리에 그것 때문에 죽으시고 부활하신 그리스도가 바로 그 자리에 함께하고 있다는 걸 붙잡아야 돼요. And then it's there that we have to really hold on to the fact that Christ who died and resurrected for me is with me. 오늘 본문 17절에 그랬잖아요. And it says that in, uh, script, in the scripture verse 17. 믿음으로 말미암아 그리스도가 너희의 그 마음에 계시게 하옵시며 그랬어요. It says in faith make it so that Christ may dwell in your hearts. 여러분의 마음 in your heart 여러분의 마음에 그리스도가 계시게 하옵시며. Make it so that Christ may dwell in your hearts. 이미 영접했으면은 그분은 분명히 내 안에 계셔요. And so if you've already accepted Christ into your heart, then He's there. 그러면 그 마음의 자리는 어떤 자리겠습니까? But what is who's holding that place, that seat in your heart? 여러분이 때로는 외롭고 두렵고 절망스러운 나도 모르게 분노가 쏟아지는 그 마음의 그 자리에 그리스도가 함께하고. It's talking about in that very heart where sometimes loneliness can come out, sometimes anger and depression and different things like and emotions can come out. In that place, Christ must take a seat. 이사야 61장 1절에 뭐라고 그랬냐? 주님은 마음이 상한 자를 고치러 오셨다. And if you look in Isaiah chapter 61 verse verse 1 it says he has come to heal the broken hearted. 포로된 자 갇힌 자에게 해방을 주러 오셨다. It says that he has come to break free the captives. 여러분요. 여러분의 마음 속에 숨어 있는 오늘의 그 갈등과 고통은 전부 다 나도 모르게 과거 속에 잡혀 있는 거예요. And if you look at all the different things and the suffering that you're and the pain that you're going through right now, a lot of it, a lot of the times, we're caught in our past. 그 과거가 무서운 거거든요. So our past is something that's very scary. 내 성격이 왜 이러지? And you think to yourself, why is my personality? 왜 이렇게 나는 내 마음대로 뭐가 안 되지? And so why can't I do things the way I want them to work out? 거의 
전부가 과거에 잡혀 있어요. And so so many times we're caught in the midst of our past. 사단은 과거에 그 어두웠던 경험이나 상처나 그런 것들을 가지고 나를 포로로 삼아요. And so Satan can take those moments with the, of darkness that you feel and take you away as a captive. 그리고 그, 그, 그 속에 아예 나를 가두어 버리는 거예요. And then also he he holds you in that place. 여러분요. 그래서 내 마음과 내 생각과 내 의지 속에 그런 상처들로 인해서 내 스스로 어떤 틀, 에? 어떤 반대지 이런 틀을 만들어 놓고 있어요 내 스스로. So that's why, as a result of our the the things that we think of, the, the things that we have within our hearts, we form for ourselves a frame of bondage. 그러면서 나도 모르게 뭔가 어떤 어둠의 멍에 욕, 어둠의 멍에 내가 잡혀 있어요. And that's why we're we're caught by this yoke of darkness. 그러니까 더 이상을 못 뛰어넘으면 and, and so 내 성장 과정 지나온 과거 그 이상을 못 넘는 못 뛰어넘는 and if you look at your childhood your past and different things that you've experienced in your recent past as well we're not able to overcome those 사단은요 things. 여러분이 어디를 건드리면 여러분이 넘어지는 아니기 때문에 꼭 건드려서 뒤집어질 것만 건드린다고. And that's why, because Satan knows exactly where to poke you in order to make you fall. That's why he constantly does those things of, of your past. 그게 그게 상처거든요. Those are scars. 그게 내 안에 숨어 있는 나만 알고 있는 반대지요. 그게 욕 이런 것들이거든요. Those are the things that, that cause you to, to even in yourself, unbeknownst to yourself, that cause you to be in the midst of bondage. 어떨 때는 내가 나를 몰라. And so sometimes you don't even know this of yourself. 내가 왜 이러는 줄 모르는 거야. You don't even know why you're like this. 여러분이요 바로 그 자리에 그리스도가 계시게 하옵시며. But make it so that Christ will be in that very place. 여러분 오직 그리스도가 머문 그 자리에만 흑암의 세력이 깨지는 거예요. In that place where Christ dwells, that's when the forces of darkness are broken down. 여러분 신앙생활이 뭐냐? 여러분이 가지고 있는 그 상처 어려움 속에 흑암의 세력이 깨지고. What is our Christian walk of faith? In the midst of our scars, in the midst of all the things of our past, it's there that Christ dwells and the forces of darkness are broken down. And only in that place where Christ works can all the forces of darkness be broken down. And then even unbeknownst to yourself, there's all these things that are just released from you. And those kinds of things that brought you down, those kinds of things that made your life so difficult, all of a sudden they just released. 여러분요, 이제는요, 그걸 여러분이 경험하면서 이제 지속적으로 여러분이 말씀과 기도 속에서 지속해야 될게 있는 거예요. And as we experience these kinds of things, there are things that we must continue in the midst of the word and prayer. 나를 향한 그리스도의 사랑, 나를 향한 그리스도의 그 능력이 어떤 것인지를 이게 완전히 각인이 되고 뿌리를 내리고 체질이 되게 만들어놔요. And we have to make it so that this very love of Christ that came for you, the power and strength that comes from Christ, needs to become imprinted, become rooted in us, and become a part of our nature. 아니면 잠깐 치유를 받았다가도 또 일어나니까. And so if that's not the case, then so many times we can receive a temporary healing, but then fall and then fall again. 십칠절 하반절에 그랬죠. And then it says this in the scripture in verse 17. 우리가 그리스도의 사랑 안에서 뿌리가 박히고 터가 굳어져야 된다 그랬어. It says and to know this that we we would be be able to root ourselves down within this thing. 여러분 그 바닥에 이 터가 단단해져야 된다는 거예요. And saying that that that, found, that foundation needs to be strengthened. 여러분 18절에 뭐라고 그랬어요? What is it saying verse 18? 그 사, 그리스도의 사랑을 알되 그 넓이 길이 높이 깊이가 어떠한지를 체험해 봐라. That we be able to go and grasp the love and the the, the width and the length of the and the height and the depth of the love of Christ. 여러분이요 지속적으로 하나님의 말씀을 묵상할 때만 그리스도의 그 사랑 높이 길이 넓이가 깨달아지는 거예요. And this is something that we can experience the, the width and the height and the depth and all these things of the love of Christ are things that we can experience when we hold on to the word. 늘 세상의 소리만 듣잖아요. So many times we hear things of the world. 늘 나를 비난하는 소리만 듣잖아요. And we hear so many times criticism from other people. 늘 나를 나에게 요구하는 디멘드하는 소리만 듣잖아요. And so many times we hear demands from other people. 그런데 여러분의 말씀을 붙잡을 때는 어떤 소리가 들립니까? But when you hold on to the word of God, what kind of things do we hear? 나는 너를 사랑한다. The Lord says to you, I love you. 너는 나에게 존귀한 자다. The Lord says to you, you are precious. 나는 너를 위해 죽었다. That I have died for you. 나는 너를 해방시켰다. That I have freed you. 너는 어떤 경우도 승리할 수 없다. That in no situation will you ever be. 나는 너를 통해서 나의 영광을 세상 속에 증가할 수 있다. And through you, I will reveal my glory to the world. 이 하나님의 사랑과 능력이요. 
여러분의 내면 속에 계속 각인이 되어져야 돼요. 언제요? 말씀을 묵상할 때. 그래서 여러분의 메시지를 듣고 다시 가서 메시지를 정리해 보고 다시 한번 되새겨 보는 묵상을 해야 되는 거예요. And that's the very reason why we go and take this message and go and take a moment to meditate on it again and read through it again. 그래야 각인이 돼요. That's when it becomes imprinted in you. 그래야 뿌리를 내려요. And that's when it becomes rooted in you. 그게 내 인생의 체질을 만들어요. And that's when it becomes a complete part of your nature. 우리 어른들은요 이미 다 모든 게 만들어져 버렸어. And so for our adults, so many different things are already formed in us. 정말로 바꾸기가 너무 힘들어. And it's so difficult to change who we are. 그럼 어떻게 해야 됩니까? If that's the case, then what do we do? 정말로 몸부림치듯이 말씀 잡고 여러분이 묵상하고 기도하지 않으면 결국은 내 옛날 모습에 내 지금의 모습에 머물러 그냥 끝나는. If you're not able to make a real effort to hold on to the word of God, meditate on it, and really enter into prayer, then it's we're constantly going to be captured by our old, our former selves. 정말로 날마다 새롭고 날마다 하나님의 은혜에 깊은 자리로 들어가기가 어려운 거예요. And it's difficult if that's the case if we're not able to do that then it's difficult to enter into the new blessings. 우리 렘넌트들 뭐 엄마 욕하고 아빠 욕하고 여러분이 정말로 말씀 붙잡고 여러분 내면이 정말 치유되지 않으면 나중에는요. 내가 흉봤던 엄마 모습, 아빠 모습 그대로 내가 하고 있어요. And so your young, our younger remnants here today, today you're saying all these bad things about your mom and your dad. But if you're not really receiving healing right, right, right now through the word of God, then later you'll find yourself being the exact same person as your parents who you're cursing today. 정말로 여러분이 말씀 속으로 들어갔어요. And so really enter into the word of God. 하나님이 나를 어떻게 사랑하시나? God, how you love me. So. 하나님의 능력이 어떤 것이? And how great is your power? 그게 완전히 뿌리를 내리게 만들어놔. We have to make it so that we really lay down roots in this. 여러분. 그게 체험되기 시작한다. 그게 뿌리를 내리 시작한다. 뭐든지 할수 있어요. If we really experience this, if we really begin to root ourselves in this, that's when we can do all things. 잠시 문제가 오나 흔들리지 않고 거기서 여러분은 모든 이유가 없어져요. And we're, when we're able to do this, it's then that when a temporary problem comes our way, we're not shaken and we're able to do all things. 이 힘을 가진 자를 영적 섬이시다. Those who possess this strength in their inner selves are those whom we call the spiritual. 영성을 summit. 가진 자. Those people who possess a spiritual. 세상을 살릴 영성을 가진 자. Who those who possess a spirituality with which they can save the world. 우리는 그냥 세상 성공하는 자가 아닙니다. We're not just talking about having just simple mere success in the world. 성공자를 살리는 성공자의 자리로 가는 거예요. We're talking about entering into a place of success where you can save those people next to you. 그러면 불신자가 절대로 없는 영성과 내면에 성령이 주시는 힘을 가진 자의 모습이어야 되는 거예요. And so we really have to bring ourselves to a state where we're gaining a spiritual strength, an inner strength, a spirituality that non-believers could never fathom. 이거를 여러분이 계속 지속적으로 체험한다. 이거를 충만이라고 하는 거예요. And if you experience this continually in your life, that's what it means to really be filled. 그리스도 충만, 성령 충만, 말씀 충만 다 같은 얘기예요. It's talking when we're talking about being filled with Christ, filled with the Holy Spirit, filled by the Word of God. It's those things. 오늘 십구 절에 그랬잖아요. And so it says this in verse 19 of the scripture. 하나님의 모든 충만한 것으로 너희가 충만하게 되기를 원한다. It says that you may be filled to the measure of the fullness of God. 뭐로 충만한 상태로 살아가십니까? And so what are you being filled with as you live your life? 스트레스 충만한 상태. Are you living your life just filled with the full measure of stress? 외로움 충만한 상태로 살아가십니까? Are you talking? Are you living your life being filled with the full measure of loneliness? 분노 충만한 상태로 살아가십니까? Are you filled with anger as you live your life? 뭐의 충만 속에 살아가십니까? What are you living your life being filled with? 나의 내면 속에 하나님의 말씀이 충만해져. And so in your inner self, the word of God dwells in you. 나의 내면 속에 나를 향한 하나님의 사랑이 충만해져. So in your inner self, the love of God dwells. 나의 내면 속에 하나님의 성령의 능력으로 충만해져. In yourself, you see that the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, is dwelling in you. 어떤 일이 벌어지겠어요? If that's the case, what kind of things would really take place? 이 충만을 여러분이 좀씩 좀 체험해 가는데 어떤 일이 벌어지겠습니까? And as we little by little experience what it means to be filled by Him, then what would what do you think would happen? 이십 절에 뭐라고 그랬어요? What does it say in verse twenty? 우리 가운데 역사하는 능력대로 우리의 구하는 것이나 생각하는 것에 더 넘치도록 역사하실 분이시다. It says now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine. 여러분이 기도하는 것, 여러분이 생각하는 것에 더 넘치게 하신다. And so the things that we pray about, the things that we think about, he's able to do immeasurably more than anything we can imagine. 나의 내면이 그리스도의 사랑과 능력과 성령의 능력으로 충만해지니까 여러분이 모든 삶의 현장에 충만한 역사가 나타난다는. And then suddenly when we're filled with Christ, suddenly when we're filled with the Word of God in in our lives and the field that we live in right now, that's when everything is filled. 
여러분의 공부, 여러분의 하는 일, 여러분의 직장 모든 것이 응답이 되고 축복이 되는데 그게 넘치게 하신다. And so that's when even our studies and our academics, the work that we do and the lives lives that we live, everything is filled and we overflow. 그러니까 영, 성, 여러분이 영적 충 영적 서밋이 돼 버리면 세상의 서밋은 당연히 따라오게 돼 있는. And so when you enter into that spiritual summit, the spirit the, the, the summit of the world, the physical summit of the world is something that has no choice but to follow. 네, 어제 우리 교회 교회는 아닙니다. 다른 렘넌트 부모를 만나서 여러 가지 상담을 하고 대화를 했는데 야, 진짜 복음 가진 자녀들 하나님 이렇게 축복하시고. And so you know, yesterday I was meeting with uh, the, the parent of another remnant from a different church, uh, but I, I was talking to this person and, and I thought to myself, wow, for a parent who really truly possesses the gospel, the blessings that the child receives are different. 여러 가지 좀 에? 사춘기 시절 좀 방황하고 또 경제적으로 어려워서 공부를 하기가 어려워 갖고 뭐 이렇게 커뮤니티 칼리지 들어가서 공부를 시작했고 나중에 이제 UVA로 이제 트랜스퍼가 됐어요. And so this this individual was someone who who wandered a little bit when this person was younger, but later on started to gain strength from the Word of God, and then ultimately a, uh, went went to a community college, went through a lot of financial difficulty, but transferred uh, ultimately to UVA. 네, 늘 말씀 묵상하고 강단 정리하고 정말로 기도하는데 중요한 교수들 사람들을 붙여줘 갖고. But this person, as this person was going and holding on to the word of God, meditating on the word of God, entering into prayer, strangely, God started attaching all these very important professors. 저 마이크로소프트, 저 구글 막 이런 데서 너도 나도 데려가려고 아직 졸업도 안 했는데. And right now, this person is, hasn't even graduated, but but this person is being pulled away by all these great corporate, whether it's Microsoft or Google or all these other corporations that are trying to get this person to come. 이렇게 월급 줄게, 이렇게 집 하우징 줄게, 뭐 이렇게 보너 줄게. And they're they're giving all, they're giving this person all these guarantees already, saying, "Oh, we're gonna we're, we'll we'll give you this kind of place, we'll give you this kind of salary, etc., etc." 그 엄마가 눈물로 제게 얘기하더라. But the mother, as she was talking about those things to me, 참이 아이가 좀 힘들고 모자란 듯하고 했는데 눈물로 하나님 앞에 기도했는데 이 아이가 이렇게 하나님이 인도에 가실 줄. But as the mother said these things to me, she made this confession. So all of, all this time, I thought that my child was going through all these difficulties, and I and I shed tears before God, really praying before Him. I couldn't I couldn't even imagine that God would bless my child like this. When we enter into the spiritual summit, the summit of other things have no choice but to follow. And then what does it say in verse 20? 교회와 그리스도 안에서 하나님의 영광이 대대 무궁할 것이다. It says to him. Be glory in the church and in Jesus Christ through all generations. 이런 영적 서밋들을 통해서 교회가 살고 후대가 살아난다는 거예요. Through these people who are standing at the spiritual summit, it's there that the church and the next generation comes to life. 여러분 하나님이 쓰신 렘넌트 일곱 명 모든 하나님 이거 다 체험하고 산 거죠. So even if you look at the seven remnants of God, this is what they experienced in their lives as they lived. 그게 전도로 연결된 거예요. And this is everything that's connected with evangelism. 노예로 가고 감옥에 가도 거기서 하나님의 영광이 나타나 요셉이잖아요. And so Joseph was someone who, even though he was sold away as a slave, even though he was sent into prison, it's there that he experienced the work of God. 전쟁에 나가서 싸우는 군인이 되는데도 거기에 하나님의 영광이 나타나. And so even Joshua, as he was someone who went out into the field of battle, is there that he experienced the glory of God. 교회가 아무 영적인 힘이 없고 무너지는데 거기에 하나님의 영광이 나타나요. 사무엘이잖아요. And so even right now, when all the churches were crumbling down, it's in the midst of that that this person received blessings. That was Samuel. 왕이 되어서 왕궁에 있는데도 거기서 하나님의 영광이 나타나요. 다윗이잖아요. And so even then, as he was given this destiny to become king and given this blessing of God, it's there that he experienced that, that God was with him. That was David. 정부에서 공무원이 돼서 일을 하는데 거기에 하나님 and he's working as a public official and doing all these things and trying allowing the, God, the glory of God to be revealed in all things. That was Daniel. Let's give. A, let's finish up the message here. 다른 응답을 구하기 전에 나의 내면 속에 영적인 충만의 응답을 구하세요. Before you seek out any other kind of answer, first seek out the answer of the Spirit of God filling you. 다른 축복을 구하기 전에 정말로 하나님의 사랑, 하나님의 능력으로 채워지는 나의 내면의 힘을 구하세요. Before you ask for any other kind of blessing, ask for the blessing that God is filling you and your inner self with the love and the grace of Him. 내 속사람의 하나님의 성령의 능력으로 내 속사람이 강건해지게 하옵소서. Really pray that your inner self, that your inner self would really be filled by the Spirit of God. 이후에 모든 것에 넘치게 하실 거라고 했어. And it says that He will fill us immeasurably more than we can imagine. 그 축복이 우리 모든 렘넌트들이 있길 바랍니다. And I pray that this blessing would be upon all of our remnants. 모든 성도들에게 함께하길 바랍니다. And I really pray that this blessing would be upon all of our believers. 하나님 감사합니다. God, we thank you. 정말 우리의 속사람이 
하나님의 성령의 능력으로 강건해지기를 원합니다. Lord, we pray and, and, and truly desire that our inner selves will be strengthened. 불신자들조차도 다른 힘을 가지고 살고 있습니다. And Lord, even that right now, non-believers are living with some kind of different strength. 하나님 비교할 수 없는 하나님의 사랑, 그리스도의 그 능력이 성령의 그 능력이 우리 안에 역사하길 원합니다. But Lord, we pray and desire that the incomparable love and the grace and the work of God will be among us. 하나님 우리 성도들 우리 엠런들의 그 숨은 상처가 정말 주님 앞에 내어놓 And Lord, would you allow us to even lay down our hidden scars, all of our remnants, to lay down the scars of our hearts? And in that place, would you allow us to hold firmly to Christ? And would you allow us to continue to remain in the Word of God? Would you allow us to continue to remain in the Word of God? And would you allow us to continue to remain in the Word of God? And would you allow us to continue to remain in the Word of God? And would you allow us to continue to remain in the Word of God? And would you allow us to continue to remain in the Word of God? And would you allow us to continue to remain in the Word of God? And would you allow us to continue to remain in the Word of God? And would you allow us to continue to remain in the Word of God?